Hi guys, back home after a very short Lambo trip and um, I have to decide what to do uh, with the car. I just got an offer for a new engine um, and uh, a new clutch that was due also $50,000, €45,000. Um, I could do a refurbished engine also, that's 30,000 euros. Actually that does make sense because even if you put in a new engine, the resale value is not uh, going up much. That's uh, something I am discovering today. That my car has uh, 75,000 kilometers on the odometer. That's about 50,000 miles and that's about the maximum you can find in the market when you buy these second-hand uh, Gallardos, uh, Spiders, between 2006 and 2008, uh, the year it was built. Um, you can't find one even that has more than uh, 50,000 miles. So... Um, I want to drive another 30,000 miles with this car, but that would mean that I'm already at 50, so it would be about 80,000 miles. When I try to resell it, nobody wants to buy that, even when the engine was replaced some time ago, um, unless you sell it very cheaply. And so, just currently I'm estimating I can sell the car currently um, if it would have the, uh, well, I got an offer for $30,000, I can probably sell it for $40,000 if I wait long enough and I make an effort to get the best price, but um, uh, anyway, I still have to make up my mind, but um, Boy, has this been costly, uh, driving 25,000 kilometers, I lost 90,000 euro, let's, let's, let's call that uh, about uh, 3 euros per kilometer I paid to drive that car, 3 euros per kilometer, so you drive 100 uh, kilometers, that's not very far, uh, I can easily do 200 kilometers uh, on an evening, um, that's... Um, 600 euro you lost, eh? 700 dollars, you lost, eh? it's gone, that's what this uh, car has costed me, but yeah, I've been uh, a true novice, a true rich idiot, uh, buying the cheapest supercar available, for 80,000 dollars I bought one one year and a half ago, about the cheapest available, and I thought I did a great deal, but I ended up losing another uh, $100,000 on the car in all kinds of expenses. Some of which, like normally I should have spent like twenty, thirty thousand dollars 30000 but not $100,000. Um, let's call it $40,000. So I spent $60,000 more on, uh, on a lot of uh, breakdowns and uh, at the end, and, uh, and the ultimate breakdown of the engine. So yeah, I mean, I don't have to pay it, I lost it already, even if I decide not to install a new engine and not spend another $50,000 on this car, I lost that money because when I wanted to sell the car, only uh, two weeks back I could have gotten um, $90,000 for the car, even with 50,000 miles, that's the market price, but once the engine blows up, suddenly you can't sell it for $90,000, you can only sell it for $40,000, you really lost $50,000 with the engine blowing up. And I haven't even contacted my insurance, even though it's all risk, pretty sure it's gonna be a waste of time, because it's clearly mentioned that it's not for maintenance, it's only for, and also not for manufacturing uh, errors, so... It's only for uh, accidents, um, hitting an animal on the road, hitting someone else on the road. 
the thing catching fire but even then if the fire is caused by um, manufacturing error probably they will also not pay so only if the fire is caused by um, an accident uh, would they pay so yeah um, I'm uh, learning the hard way uh, what not to do um, probably I would have been a lot better off if I bought a lower mileage car for a lot more money uh, then today I wouldn't have a blown engine also with a, a better history because there are some years that it's not clear um, well some years that the car hasn't been used a lot uh, and um, the car has been exported from America imported in Europe that's a strange story why did that happen um, but I didn't care about all that so but this all uh, explains why it was so cheaply but yeah probably it's wiser to spend considerably more instead of eighty thousand dollars I probably should have spent a hundred twenty thousand dollars or so when I bought the car second hand um, instead of having thirty thousand miles on the odometer when I bought it or thirty five thousand I should have taken one with 15,000 uh, miles eh? uh, and then um, or 20,000 kilometers and then I could have done the same mileage like much higher chance the engine would not have br 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 broken down I could have sold it today um, for a similar price even though I did mileage on it and uh, I wouldn't be uh, in the hole for uh, $50,000 so yeah, I'm trying to figure out how can I own a supercar uh, and drive it a lot and not um, burn so much money. I haven't find, found a solution yet, um, but today I have to decide whether I keep this car and I wait for um, my investments to go up to buy a new engine actually that's not really on the table either I'm buying a new engine today or I sell the car that's what I'm considering um, and buy a new engine the advantage is I have an, a Lambo to drive more um, if I sell the car I'm not sure I'm gonna buy a Lambo for the time being um, I might just wait it out a bit um, that's probably the wisest decision but um, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's a part of me wants to have a Lambo to enjoy uh, it's a lot of fun and uh, yeah it sucks if I don't have that anymore um, yeah um, if you're uh, interested more about cars the best channel on YouTube is from um, Salomondrin uh, I will link uh, in the comments below the, this YouTube video the link to him I'm learning a lot from him and um, um, likely my future will be to buy a supercar that is a lot more expensive than what I bought but actually that goes up in value instead of down if you do that wisely you can achieve that but you need a lot more money to spend and also um, so that you can buy a McLaren P1 or, or Porsche 918 Spider or um, a Zonda or Pagani or um, Bugatti like brands that um, don't cost hundred thousand dollars but cost like five hundred thousand dollars or a million for a car that's a, a lot of money but these cars are very limited editions top of the line and um, instead of going down they go up like the year a couple of years later you you, you spend one million you can sell for two million eh? um, that's going up more than the real inflation rate but for that you probably need to um, um, you need to be very smart about it uh, have a lot more money to spend and um, but I'm interested to learn more about that uh, and then when you buy such cars you can drive it but 
you cannot drive it a lot you have to keep the mileage within a reasonable limit so that you can resell it uh, this is something that is unavoidable um, you can't so so that's why um, you see some of these people that have like not just one supercar they have 10 um, does it make financial sense? Yes, uh, if you want to drive a lot of super, uh, in a supercar, you can't just buy one and drive that a lot because the mileage will go up way too much and uh, you can't resell it um, for a uh, decent price. Um, the mileage needs to stay within normal uh, limits, which is you can maximum drive 5,000 miles a year with such a car. It's crazy, I know, but you know, if you'd like to drive uh, not 5,000 but uh, uh, 50,000 miles, well, if you have 10 such cars, um, you can do that. And if they, uh, on average, uh, go up um, with the inflation rate, uh, you didn't lose any money, even though you had 10 supercars. <laughs> eh? uh, but probably if you do it wisely, a few of them uh, go up in value and on average you don't have like five or seven percent uh, returns you have maybe 10 20 percent returns and suddenly you are making money with owning supercars that's how these people do that so um yeah it's interesting to see uh so i hope you enjoyed the video please press like uh, share it if you enjoyed it uh, with your friends on your Facebook or Twitter. And um, thanks so much for all your support. Uh, I'm really happy with uh, all the words of sympathy I got uh, for my engine blowing up. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's a tough, I mean, there are, it's a nice problem to have in life, of course. Lambo problems, um, much better than uh, some other problems. But um, I still really... I uh, love uh, the sympathy I got. Thanks so much. Bye.